Hey everyone, I'm here at Owl Hollow in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, here with Joe from the Seneca Nation. He came down from Buffalo, New York for the fundraiser to help stop Line 3 and uh, the Water is Life campaign. So I'm going to hand it over to him. Yo, what's going on? My name is Joe Hill. I'm a member of the Seneca Nation Turtle Clan. I spent uh, almost seven months in northern Minnesota helping to fight Line 3, which threatens the Anishinaabe people, their wild rice, their treaty lands, um, and their very way of life. Uh, but more than that, it uh, this is a fight against the tar sands, which is known as the dirtiest oil on the planet. Um, probably the largest carbon bomb that we have. If this pipeline goes through, uh, it will pump almost 800,000 gallons of tar sand sludge a day through um, and under and over 22 rivers, a total of 200 water bodies, um, and any spill along the route would be devastating. We've already had, they've already, Enbridge has already had um, at least a dozen frack outs. A frack out is uh, a release of the drilling fluid that they use in uh, uh, boring under the river. Um, so if you look on pictures from out of the earth or uh, the GNU Collective or uh, Rise, um, you will see photos of what happened after they drilled under the river. There's mud and an oily sheen on the water now, where there wasn't one before. Um, a spill in those areas, pristine, beautiful areas, will be just devastating. This is of concern to anyone who drinks water, not just downstream on the Mississippi, but this uh, tar sands oil will be pumped to, to Lake Superior and the spill into the Great Lakes threatens all of us along the Great Lakes. So do what you can. And I'll say this, the front lines are everywhere. So learn about what's going on in your own neighborhood and you'll find that the insatiable appetite for Riches and oil money um, will be the undoing of us all, you know. Uh, Mother Earth is crying out, and uh, we have to do what we can to um, protect her. Because in the end, she doesn't need us. We need her. She can shake us off like a bunch of fleas and keep going and heal herself. We're the ones that need to stand up and do what we can now. The time is now. Not tomorrow, but now. So please do what you can. Thank you. Thank you so much.